Hello and welcome to another video of Tableau Do It Yourself tutorial. In this, we are going to talk about market basket analysis. So, what is market basket analysis, right? It's an analysis to understand which products are bought together by a customer or which products are more frequently bought together. A typical example of market basket analysis is sale diapers and beers i would request each one of you to go to google search for sale diapers and beers and you would see it's a theory created from by one of the organization a retail industry leader which did a statistical analysis of the products which are bought together and it found that on fridays or in on certain days at a certain time frame both beers and diapers are bought together it's a very interesting thing go look it up and read it so in this um, video we are going to talk about how to do that analysis in tableau so this is a high level step steps use order details.xls the link for to this file google drive file is provided in the comments section below and this is the file order details the link is as i said is provided in the comment section below take a look and then create a parameter base product type so this is my tableau this is order details which i got let's take a look at the data this is sales order id this is sales order line ID, detail ID, product ID, customer ID, order date. And at the end, take a look at the name here. This name is nothing but product type name, type of product. So let's go to sheet one. First of all, let's rename it to product type. All right. Next is let's create a parameter base product type. So right click, create parameter. base product type type is string select list add from field product type so this is the parameter which we created as a string and click on ok you have the base product type Let's create a calculation to count products in an order. The product type count, I mean, not the product, but product types. So let's say product type count. And this is how the calculation would look like. Right click, create calculated field, product type count. And you would say if your product type is equal to the selected product type which is the base product type then one else zero so if product type equal to base product type then one else zero let me just copy it and say apply okay so you can see the product type count here next we are going to create a calculation to find the other products in the same order so let's see how to do that i can reuse the calculation and see how i'm changing it so right click create calculated field i would say other product type Product type, base type, 
so we are we are going to change it not equal to so if the product which is already been selected is not equal then we say product type else else any or to anything what to avoid that right or maybe a null right okay what's the next step create a set for order id find the orders having more than one product obviously if an order has just one product then it doesn't make sense right because there won't be any other product bought together so we need to find out those products where the <clears throat> the product is more than one let's do that we'll create a set so right click the order id my sales order id and say create a set from here go to condition by field the so sum of product type count is greater than or equal to 1 next create a layout in order to show that so let's see how to do the layout so drag other product types in the columns and let's say show parameter as the base parameter base product types and let's have the sales order ID in the rows include all members and say count so we want to show it as count and let's sort it like this so if the product is bib shorts then most likely 15,859 times the customer has also end up buying road bikes if I change now to road bikes you can see that NA is come up so NA is not applicable that means it's the same product so I would right click and say exclude so with road bikes most of the times a customer is buying mountain bikes too well this is how the order looks like right so let's uh, do some coloring here so drag and drop the other product types in the color and we can do the pie chart too just to figure out we can do this there are various ways you can you can show how you can you can visualize this right and you have been using so this is so for road bikes let's select uh, gloves so you can see with gloves most of the times a customer has also end up buying road bikes or mountain bikes let's see with helmets with helmets obviously road bikes and mountain bikes but road frames jerseys mountain frames and blah 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 all of these products so this is a type of analysis which is used by data scientists and I have seen at various customer places, this is very much up, applic applicable uh, to retail sector. Having said that, many other sectors, but this is this is how it is for market basket. Thank you for watching.